In addition to the video that was made in January 2023 on crime stats for Bexley Borough, this is a new video made on the 21st September 2023 and at the time of recording the stats are obtained as follows. So if you go to, that's the YouTube channel and that's the video for the Bexley crime stats. You can have a look at that later. But go to the blog. The blog has two menus, one Bexley crime stats and the other one is Bexley crime stats map, which is that one. One or the other points to the same information in a summary format. So these are the Bexley crime stats for 2023, the latest being the August 2023 and the January 1, 2023. If you click on any of these monthly first column, it takes you to the Met site. So if I click on that one, it opens up the table on the Met site. This is where the figures are derived from, the monthly crime stats. So you obviously select the start and end date. So this is 2023. And then you list it by list, which gives you the wards. You can do a map, but I prefer this layout. Uh, safer neighborhood teams geographical level rather than the borough. The area name, and this is where you select. If this is a bit tricky, so you have to select all the 17 wards for the borough to get them here. And some of them may be at the bottom, so you may miss some. So you want 17. You may, for example, select the first up to there, maybe. And then you have to scroll down to this list to get tick the rest of the ward. Then you select the measure type, which is the offences, and then the offence category type. So these are the nine categories we commonly go by, arson and criminal damage, all the way up to vehicle offences and violence against the person. As you can see, these are ticked. Right, so this is the total count for August for the borough. But if you hover your the mouse cursor over each ward in the second column, not this one, that one. For example, the first one is Erith. If you hover over it, over it, it gives you the offences for Erith. And at the moment, it's showing as 139. So then, if you if you go away from it, these are the breakdown of all the offences in the borough by type, offence type, because these are the categories we have selected. So if you go back to Erith and click on that using your mouse cursor, it gives you the total count for the offence for that ward. So Erith is 139 and the breakdown is listed here. So it starts with theft and then robberies at the bottom there. And these are the figures that you then transfer for each ward, which is laborious, and I do that diligently, uh, and rely on the information from the MET site. So if I go back to the Bexley Crime Ward, so that, sh that link takes you to the table, then I produce a sheet which is the Excel sheet by transferring that data for each ward from the template I use. So it's you can use the same template, uh, download it and then copy the data and it'll reconfigure it. So these are the categories on the top for the ward. Sorry, these are the wards, 17 of them. And these are the categories for the, uh, for, for the ones you've selected. So for example, Erith, the total is 139. And that matches with 139. And you can see theft is 48 and robbery is one. So if you go back to the sheet for Erith, 
robbery is one and uh, the other one was theft so theft is 48 so that's how you go about transferring for each category and each ward the data from the MET site to produce this sheet. If, I, if, I, if you configure it correctly, the totals match 1355 for that month. So if I click away, 1355. And you do that respectively each month for all the new information which comes a month later. So we are in September and in October you'll get the September ones in mid-October somewhere and the figures will come up, up there. Then you have to match the table, or I have to, and sheet. And then I've created links so you can open them from here and the chart and the Google map. So if you have the Google map, it opens up this map and you can see from this section there, the little arrow up, you open that, you probably open the map like that, and you think you will think, where's the chart? So you have to go down there, drop it down to get the chart. And that chart, sheet and chart are linked from this database, from this sheet. So there's your sheet for August, and then the chart is automatically produced. Uh, using a bit of technical skills, uh, the data is then automatically transferred to the chart by ward, and I've done it in descending order of the highest category first. So if you look at this, this is higher than that one. So it looks nice when you reorder this so that it's the highest to the lowest, and that pattern is repeated for all the months. In, if, when you're in the chart for the August, you can hover over the bar chart and it'll show you the total and there's the key. So this color is total, public order is this and so on and so forth. And then if you hover over each ward on the chart, it'll tell you the figures for that. So burglary is six, for Bexley, theft is 43. You can check that it's on the 43, Bexley Heath, theft, Bexley Heath, 43. So it does the work for you and then you can then use the sheet or the chart as you deem fit. So if you look at the chart, it's in offence type by ward. I've also taken the liberty to do a chart too, which gives you a different layout, so the totals at the end but it's in that layout. So the ward is there, fence type is there, and the same thing happens here, etc. Right? If you go to chart three, it does it in a different layout. The ward is this side, and the offense type is there. It just looks visually the way you want to see it. If you're happy with that, you can use that. If you're happy with this, you can use that. If you're happy with this, you can use that. When you are in the chart, you can then download the chart if you want. Clicking on this drop down, it'll give you an image or a PDF or a scalable vector graphics. It's the same thing as an image, but it's slightly, it'll look, if you play around with that, you can see when it's downloaded and open it, it'll look like this, but in a condensed form. And then you can decide whether you like it in that fashion. What I've also done is, if I go back to the map, and the map is linked from there, this is the, all the maps from here. So the maps are just the sheet, uh, sorry, the public data, the met, met data, and the map. It makes it simple because then when you open the map, you can then open the sheet from within the map for that month. And also when you're on the map, uh, if you want to look at the sheet, just click on that. If you want to look at the chart, just click on that. It opens up the chart as you saw. It's good to 
click on the ward map here on each ward because then you can see the data here visually if you're on a PC or laptop. You can do it on the mobile but it's a bit tricky. So if I say click on Timsmead East Ward, click on that, it shows for the August the breakdown. And then when you want to compare it, all you do is click any ward, it opens that ward straight away and the data automatically appears. If you click from here, which you can do, Barnes Ward, it'll zoom into this area so you can see what I mean. So you just see Barnest and then you have to go back and then click on another ward, it zooms into that and so on and so forth. I prefer the other method um, by going to the ward map instead. Let's close this. So you can go from the crime stats map from this menu or you can go from the crime stats menu here on the top so the, the map is here, the crime stats is there, they both give the same information. The difference is in the crime stats you've got the same data but it highlights the new map and the monthly figures are in there in this format. So the map data, sheet, chart and the map. The map will open in the Google Maps. On this data menu you also got the monthly knife stats for the borough. So if I, this is only short as a map data, not the Excel sheet. So click on that, it opens the knife crime count for the borough and then again if you want to look at individually this is three and then there's a breakdown here. So that's how that works. If you click away it gives you the total. So let's close that and same with layout for each of the months for the monthly hate crime and then this is the recent year but if you want to look at the archive and how it works this is how it was derived and there's the video that shows how it at that time um, this was uh, can't remember now it was done in in January I believe and it was October 22, it kept changing and in December 20, 2022 it was normal service because they changed the table. So once the Met changes it, everything goes out the window. So you're relying on that information and these are the, if you're interested, look at the previous, but I, I wouldn't call my uh, breath on these, uh, whether they're reliable or not, this is all previous history. It may have changed, I don't know. Let's try one. Oh yeah, so that's the sheet. So if you look at the summary, oh, it still works, August 22. So yeah, it, it works, but it's in a different layout. It's the old up and down layout. It's not in order. That's changed. So that information is there. Further, if you could scroll down to the crime map stats map menu which is this one to remind ourselves Bexley crime stats scroll down and then you come across the fraud and crime stats summary which you get like that in a PDF so that's published there and this is a new one on August again a month late cyber crime summary stats from the Met um, then it tells you more information on how to protect yourself. So have a look at that. There's a bit more advice on what happened at that time, at that month. And then the new scams and remember all the rest of it. So that's the different to, these are sent by email and then the email PDF is uploaded and linked here on the blog. Um, when this video is finished, it'll go up in the YouTube video. And I will try and put some screenshots to show how this video works. And there's a January one, so this will be August one, uh, or this video, uh, made on the 21st September 2023. So if there are any questions and clear, just check again. And then once you get familiar with it, until things change, this is how it's been working since January 2023. 
just as a reminder, Crime Stats, you can go to the map from here or you can go to the map from here. But this is just the, the map and the map data. But the map will show the stats and the sheet. So, for example, uh, August sheet, uh, chart, you click on May and it'll show May and so on and so forth. And then you can open the links from here and that will open the sheet. Or you can go to the crime stats. Whatever you choose, whatever you're happy with, it's there. And as I said, you can download the charts and uh, have a look at them. The, 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 the only way to do the Google Maps on the map data is by adding data on each word, like from the sheet for that word. Uh, if you don't like this layout, then you have to go to the sheet. Uh, again, you have to drop down and open the chart. It opens a chart. If you open the sheet, opens the sheet, the link will open, and, and there you go. So that's how it works. I, I believe you can, I'm not sure if you can download it, but I can, obviously, but you can download it from here. Obviously, because I'm admin, I can see all these. Some of these charts uh, menus will be grayed out, so you can only download and look at the charts and not change the data. I hope that is clear. Hope you liked the video. If there's any questions, contact Beckley Watch uh, to ping an email and hope this makes it easier for everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.